You've never seen so much paper on a president's desk. <laughs> That's because we're negotiating lots of deals for our country, which will be tremendous. And uh, I just want to introduce uh, Brian Krasanek, who is the CEO of Intel, a great, great company. And Brian called a few weeks ago and said we want to do a, a very big announcement uh, having to do with our country, but also having to do mostly with Arizona and the jobs and the great technology that will be produced. So uh, this is Brian, and Brian, why don't you say uh, a few words and maybe also talk about the product you're going to be making. It's amazing. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. It's, it's an honor to be here today representing Intel and to be able to announce our $7 billion investment in our newest, most uh, advanced factory, Fab 42, in Chandler, Arizona. And we'll be completing that factory to make the most advanced 7 nanometer semiconductor chips on the planet. Uh, Intel is very proud of the fact that the majority of our manufacturing is here in the U.S. and the majority of our research and development is here in the U.S. While over 80 percent of what we sell is sold outside of the U.S. They were consistently one of the top five exporters in the country and one of the top two research and development spenders in the United States. And we've been able to do that even while the regulatory and tax policies have disadvantaged us in the past uh, relative to the competition we have across the world. And FAB 42 is an investment in Intel, but also the U.S.'s future in innovation and leadership in the semiconductor industry. And FAB 42 will employ approximately 3,000 direct high-paying, high-wage, high-tech jobs at its peak, and over 10,000 people in the Arizona area in support of the factory. And th this factory will produce, as I said, the most powerful computer chips on the planet, powering the best computers, the best data centers, autonomous cars. All of these devices are the most powerful computing devices on the planet. And at Intel, we have a simple saying that says, while other people predict the future, we build the future. And this factory is a great example of that. I want to thank the President for this opportunity to be here today. Well, thank thank you. you, Brian. And you have something over there yes. that will show a little bit about the new product. This is an example of the wafer that will be built in Fab 42. Uh, this is one of our newest 10 nanometer silicon wafers. Uh, seven nanometers will be built in Fab 42. Uh, and this is uh, the future of computing. Fantastic. Did you have any questions for Brian? I know you have none for me, so how about for Brian? <laughs> Are you going to bring back jobs? The, the, the other uh, business you have outside the country, do you plan on bringing them back here? This is actually expansion. This is about growth. Uh, so this position is actually about growth and new, new jobs in the U.S. Great thing for Arizona. Unbelievable company and product, and we're very happy. And I can tell you the people of Arizona are very happy. It's a lot of jobs and probably uh, the investment. What, what do you say your total investment will be what? Total investment in just this factory is uh, $7 billion. But if you take Arizona, we already have two other factories in Arizona. So we have several tens of billions of dollars of investments in factories in Arizona. We're the number one private employer in Arizona. And how long have you been planning this investment? Uh, we've been working on this factory for several years. Uh, we've held off actually doing this investment until now. Was there something that President Trump did or said that you wanted to, uh, maybe you wanted to announce this here and then? It's really in support of the tax and regulatory policies that we see the administration pushing forward uh, that really make it advantageous to do manufacturing in the U.S. Thank you, Brad. Thank you all. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.